They lost their loved ones 25 years ago. Today, they came to court to find out what happened at Hillsborough. These families have spent years campaigning for new inquests. They know the months ahead won't be easy. I think there'll be quite a few shocks as we progress over the next 36, 8, maybe 12 months. Quite a few shocks and uh, uh, the truth will out. You can't underestimate just how difficult it's going to be for everybody. And um, all we can do is do our best and trust in the judge and everything else. Sheffield Wednesday's stadium has long been associated with the disaster which happened here. It's where Liverpool came to play an FA Cup semi-final in 1989 and where the terraces became so overcrowded that 96 people eventually lost their lives. What happened here in Sheffield nearly 25 years ago has defined the lives of many people. Most directly, of course, the bereaved and survivors. But arguably, across the Pennines in Liverpool, the entire reputation of a city has been affected too. We haven't got a life anymore. In 1991, Donna Miller spoke to reporters about her 19-year-old brother Paul, who died at Hillsborough. The jury at the previous inquest had delivered accidental death verdicts. They were quashed two years ago, and today Donna came to court again, back at the start of the inquest's process for a second time. It's something that we've got to just go through, you know, the evidence, and as hard as it is, we've got to do it for the 96. They deserve it, you know, they, they were taken away from the families needlessly, and we will continue, and we've got each other, and God knows how we're going to get through the next nine, 12 months. The new inquests are housed in a purpose-built courtroom and are sitting with a coroner and jury. The hearing will cover areas including cause of death, crowd management and the response of the emergency services. There's thousands and thousands of pages of documents, there's hundreds of witnesses coming and there is hours and hours of footage that's never been seen before. All the work that has gone into this before the inquest starting today is huge. The youngest to die at Hillsborough was 10, the oldest 67. Most were under the age of 30. The story of every one of the disaster's 96 victims will be told through the course of these inquests. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Warrington.